And if you're using QGIS, it's going to be a little tricky because you have to add the topo maps first. But I'll show you how to do that quick. Just go to a browser and search for USGS Web Map Service. That should give you to this page, the National Map Service Endpoints. Okay, and you want the, the National Map Viewer tab on this, not these other two. And then I've had good luck with all the tiled map services. The dynamic ones, I can't get them to load for some reason. So just go with this first one, USGS Topo Base Map Primary Tile Cache. And you want to click on the link over here where it says WMS. Click that. It'll display an address up here. You want to copy that. So I'm just going to do Control C to copy it to the clipboard. Close the browser. Go back to QGIS and here you want to select the button for WMS service. It's this globe with a plus sign over on your, uh, your primary toolbar. Click that. Uh, do a new service. You can call it USGS Topo. Then you're going to paste the URL in there that you copied from, uh, from Google. Okay, and do all right on that. So now that that connection is set up, you need to connect to the server. Click Connect. It'll show you all the available layers for that service. Uh, click on the one you want. Give it kind of a logical name. Uh, in here, you can just, you know, name it whatever you like. And click Add. And that'll add that web service to the map. Important to note is that these services are scale dependent. If you zoom in too far or zoom out too far, they'll just disappear. And you'll be like, where did that go? So this one, if you zoom in, I think it's past 1 to 10,000, it's gone. But you can zoom out pretty far and see see how much of your state or country you want. So to do some watershed practice, just find an area, say in the Adirondacks, uh, where there's a lot of topography, and create a new shape file. You do that by going to Layer. Create layer, new shapefile layer. It's going to be a polygon, just like we saw before. Uh, select the coordinate system. Let's use NAD83, zone 18N. Uh, we don't really want to add any more attributes. If you want to add um, attributes for land use or whatnot, this is where you would do that. I'll click OK. It's going to ask us to save it somewhere. I'm going to save it over this watershed practice shapefile. Replace it. Yep. Okay, so now I have a shape file ready to edit and practice, put my practice watershed into. Now you're going to look for the editing toolbar. It's this one up here. There's a little pencil to turn editing on. You click that, and then to draw your watershed, you use the add feature button, which looks like a little um, kidney bean with a, with a star on it. Add feature. Look for your design point, and then trace up through the watershed. and right click to close. Here's where you enter your ID. It doesn't have automatic numbering, so you have to remember what else is in the shape file. Uh, so we'll do this as number one, okay? And if you need to edit vertices, that's this tool up here. It looks like a little uh, joint, okay? You click near one of the nodes and then you can move them around. All right, and then save edits and turn off editing. All right, have fun.